What's good, guys, and welcome back to what is it? Oh my, okay, yes, we're starting the video. All right, gee whiz. What's crack like it, everybody, and welcome back to what is another pack battle against my dog, Hazel. Now, she just turned two years old, and she said for her birthday, she literally wants to beat me in a pack battle. And last time, if you remember, she actually lost, so she didn't win. We got set in this booster box right here, which is a Darkness Ablaze booster box, Hazel. She sniffs out all the Charizard V Maxes, and we're gonna see who uh, actually wins this time. So, I'm gonna get 18 packs, lay them out on the floor, and another 18 packs, which makes up a booster box, and she's gonna pick out what 18 are gonna be the better lot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's the most important part. She's gotta pick either side A or side B. Wait, Hazel, sit, you gotta sit. Hazel, let's sit, let's sit first. Which one do you wanna pick, all right? So you gotta literally pick the one with the better pulls, the full arts, you know? The GXs, the EXs, you know the drill. All right, so there's gonna be one here. Wait, there's gonna be one there. Now you see them both. Which side has the better pulls? Go! Which one's you gonna pick? Which one's you gonna pick? One of those, one of those, which one? Oh, oh, sniffing, she's sniffing, she's sniffing. Oh, it's this side, it's closest to me. She, oh, she's really going for it. She's sniffing around there. It's the one, ironically, with the Charizard on top. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I hope Hazel brought her A game right now because I'm ready to absolutely lay some smackdown on her. I've got my pile of cards right here, and let's be honest, oh my goodness. If I try and get a Rainbow Rare, I don't know, Salamence, if I get the Charizard VMAX, it's game over. I can't see her winning at all, so that's my goal right now. I've got to try and pull one of the top three rarest cards in the set, which is like Gold Rillaboom, Charizard VMAX, or Rainbow Rare Salamence. But if we didn't get any of those right now, it could be on Hazel's side. Also, I gotta give a massive shout out to Cards by Brammers because they actually sent this booster box to me when I ordered a whole bunch of Shining Legends. So like, they're literally the definition of legends. So thank you so much guys, I really appreciate it. And let's see if I've chosen the right side and if Hazel has sniffed out all of the good pulls. So let's hope we get something in the first one. Uncle Ando's gonna win this. Let me know what team you are in the comment section below. Are you team Ando or team Hazel? Ooh, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. All right. Hollow Pincurchin on the very first booster. Not too shabby at all. What do we got right here? Grimmsnarl. I mean, look. I mean, I'll happily take Grimmsnarl. Happily take any form of a Charizard, any form of a Hollow card even. I think they all add up. As long as we're... Oh, there we go. Unlisted Leaf Energy. That's me. As long as they add up to something good, I think we're going to be all right. Those regular rares are going to get in the way. But looks like we should be able to get something out of this one too. Skitty, Rowlet, Wishy Washy. We got a Reverse Mareep. And then, shout out to Mareep at the back. Oh my god, you saw that. You literally saw that. These boosters, fresh out of a booster box. Oh my, could you imagine? No way. Okay, so Ando's now got two Pincurchin Hollows. For a minute, like just picture this. We got a whole booster box and every single pack has a Hollow Pincurchin. Legit, I would have to change the name of the video. It's a flipping white and green, so this is very well possible. Yo, oh my gosh. If this is a hollow pin kerchief, I don't know what to do. Seriously, Pierce? Um, oh gosh, I'm literally nervous. Jigglypuff? Dunsparce? Could be the coolest thing ever. Torchic? Vanillish? And then, none other than a Grimmsnarl VMAX! Oh my goodness! I might have to solidify the win right now. It's probably not even worth opening Hazel's Darkness of Blaze. Grimmsnarl VMAX after two hollow pin kerchins. Oh lads, look at this. You know the best part? There was a Grimmsnarl that sort of was on the top of our pile. This is almost the mascot of my opening, so... Oh man, I'll take this. I still think it's so bad that Grimmsnarl VMAX is such an epic Pokemon. That card is so beautiful and I love it to pieces. But it's not really hyped and it's not really worth a lot of money. Because it really just got overshadowed by the Charizard in the set. Everyone's like, wow, Charizard VMAX, over $100 as a raw card. But lads, there's a Grimmsnarl VMAX in the set. And Grimmsnarl is a really epic and menacing Pokemon in the video games. We're going to goal it. You ready? Reverse Parasect. And a goal look as the regular rare. That's okay. I'm not putting that towards my recap. So again, got our three bangers right there. It's another solid green. It would have been cool to do this with a Vivid Voltage because when you get the Solid Green, you've got no idea 
it could still be an absolute banger. And especially if you're getting like an amazing rare Celebi, you've won the game. Marape again, Combuskin. And everyone's favorite, Maynetric. A lot of people want Maynetric to come out with like a VMAX or something I was reading. It's pretty funny. He's, uh, you know what's funny? Recently, the number one highest selling plush toy. So like Maynetric. I never thought it was a popular Pokemon. It's a popular Pokemon. But recently, the past two weeks, I think, the number one selling plush toy, Trapinch. Everyone loves Trapinch for some reason. Golosopod Reverse and a Corvignite Holo Card. I'm sorry, Hazel. I'm going to keep putting that mud pile. But yeah, apparently Trapinch is a very, very popular plush toy. And I'm thinking, like, why? Let me know in the comments if you want one. Why do you want one? Because it evolves into Flygon, maybe? Very curious. I got one with my Pokemon Mystery Box, if you saw that. Um, the Pokemon Center Lucky Box, they chuck one in, but... Yeah, I don't know. I have, like, maybe one Trap Inch plush toy. Star Raptor. That's a classic. He's dipped his little afro. Oh, no, Zafro. He's, like, emo sort of fringe in a bit of red paint. I love it. He's literally just got this one line of hair. And it just goes down the middle, straight down to his eyeballs. What a legend. Oh! Okay. You know what? I might have spoken uh, a bit of trash talk too early. I gotta, I gotta hope that we get the secret rare in uh, my half right here. Because if we don't find a secret rare... Hazel might actually have it in the bag. At the halfway mark, as soon as I've done my half, we'll go downstairs, we'll interview Hazel. She's chilling down there with her bone at the moment. And we'll see how she's feeling. See if she's like, you know, panicked, which I think she will be. She'll be like, oh no, Ando's won it for sure. Or if she's just relaxed, you know? Puffing down on her good little bone. We'll have to have a look and see. Got a hippopotamus, Skitty. What do you reckon? Dino? Mr. Rhyme as the reverse and Dracovish as our regular holo. So now we got four holo cards and one VMAX. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Because look at that's it. That's the only boosters I have left. And we got all the Hazel's Charizard pack next. And it's another solar green. Oh no. Little Timmy. I already know everyone in the comments is Team Hazel because Hazel can't speak for herself. So I think she relies on the comment section to really. Do the trash talking for her, but oh my goodness. I'm going to have at least one Team Ando for sure. Demolish the like button if you want this to be a regular thing. I mean, Hazel, you know, she's my dog, so literally she's just living with me 24-7. We could make it like a once a month pack battle with the latest set booster box. And I could verse Hazel every month. And at the end of the year, do like the grand final where we put it together. See where we are on the leaderboard. Who's won the most pack battles. And we do like some epic old school booster box in December. What do you guys reckon? That sounds really fun in my books. It depends. If you guys absolutely love this idea of me versing Hazel. Not even too bad. Salamence v Card. I will take that any day of the week. This is great. Because even though I'm not getting Charizards, I'm getting Salamence Vs and Grimstar V Maxes. This is good news. So yeah, if you guys really like these pack battles and this video gets maybe like 10,000 thumbs up, then heck yeah, we'll do a once a month doggy pack battle against Hazel. Um, I'd love to put more of it on the channel. And the fact that like, literally, literally like Golden Retriever dogs will watch Hazel videos on YouTube, I didn't realize it was a thing, is so cool. If you want to film your dog watching today's video, definitely let me know on Instagram or Twitter. I'd love to see it. Grand Ball as the regular, that could be a dog, as the regular rare. I think we've got four or five. Four or five packs left, guys. And then my half is done for. It's done skis. Another white green. Please let this be the secret rare. That's all I'm hoping for right now. If this can be the be and end end of the set, Corvix Sire, Rose, Vanillish, Goffida, come on, Shelmet, Lavatar, got a Grimer, and then... Come on! I wanted this card so bad! Full Art Crobat V card! I mean, it's not the secret rare, but all my Aunt Jemima... That is a beautiful looking card. Look at the tie-dye backgrounds. Color on the crowback going so well. Oh, that is stunning. Yo, this is the best video we filmed ever for ages. Oh, I might even have to get it graded. I don't know. I know it's not worth a stack of money, but like in my books, this is just worth something to have in my collection. Oh, guys, this is why we go back and we open up old school sets. Cards by Brammers, guys. They also sent me that ETB that was absolutely amazing. Oh god, Hazel doesn't stand a chance. Like, we gotta add it up at the end, and you guys in the comments will determine who wins this video. But, I mean, I've got a full lot, a VMAX, a V card, and four hollows. And I've got like five boosters to go. 
Oh, Hazel, Hazel, you've done yourself, McNasty. I cannot see your redemption insight at all. Let's have a look. We got Unless the Leaf again. Always a good sign. Solrock, Snubble, Soros, Rookity, Mr. Mime. And then, oh, it's a regular rare Hydreigon. Four boosters remaining, and that is it. Gotta really get the squeeze out. Hashtag the squeak is real on some of those boosters. There's the code card. I'm giving away every single code this episode too, like normal. Um, one, of, one of the many reasons uh, you should subscribe to the channel. Even if you don't like the videos, just get the codes. But only take one code per person, that way everyone can get one. Santa Ando's in town every day of the week. S Cavalier. Three boosters remaining. Come on, one more white and green. Let's go, baby! It's another white and green. That's what I'd like to see. All right, unlisted leaf to start it off. Oh, guys, this is going to be good. Then we got Flaffy. Always a good sign. Soxel. Grimer. Decidueye as the reverse and a heat rant on the hollow spot. Second to last booster, and we'll tidy everything up. And we'll go... We'll go tell Hazel the bad news. Like, she's definitely picked the wrong pile. There is no way a comeback is coming up. I can't foresee Hazel taking the ring of ding ding. Staravia, Dartrix, Trap Inch, Rookity. Gotta wishy washy trying to escape right there. Hand Sage, double up. Oh, oh my gosh. It's over. It's flipping over. Salamence, V Cord. Check that thing out. Oh my good. What a booster box. Name me a better booster box right now. Holy Aunt Jemima in West Virginia. Look at that. Salamence V card. I mean, it's horribly miscut. That's more thin than a pencil I used in school. And that's thicker than like the best apple I've seen at the shops. Look at that thing. What the heck? Beautiful card though. I can't believe this. Even if this isn't the pack battle, this is just for my personal collection. This is amazing. Okay, let's uh, let's put this to the side because we're gonna come back to oh my god, full art Salamance on the recap. But there's one booster remaining. Hazel, I don't know what you did. Maybe she didn't. You guys on? I don't know why, but everyone always leaves a comment. You're like, and she didn't understand the rules. Okay, you gotta be more clear explaining the rules. Okay, there we go. Whew. It's a solid green. That is insane. Look at those pulls. That's just bananas. Turbo Patch, Dartrix, got a Paris, Gothida, Skarmory, Cobchoo. Alright, let's go tell Hazel about my ridiculous collection I've got right now. Hazel, dude, I hate to I hate to tell you right now, but I literally pulled a couple of full arts. I don't think you stand a chance. Like, unless you get a Charizard, it's all over. You still confident or like, what are you doing, hey? You wanna... Oh, oh. You, you can get... Really? You, oh my gosh. All right, fine. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do this path battle too. I'm literally, I'm going to beat you, I swear. What are your thoughts about this? Okay, once, all right. Let's 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 go and I'll try to absolutely destroy you again. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, you saw the fear in her eyes. You saw that dog was quivering in fear. I mean, uh, let's try and do it. Let's see. Oh my gosh. I just realized she got two Charizards on her first two boosters. Now, for the sake of Hazel, she doesn't have a poseable thumb, so physically she can't actually open a booster as much as I've given it a go. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna open up her boosters right here. She can't do it herself. Got a Clang, Semi Sage. But she's always so confident. She was like, Ando, doesn't matter if you open it, if I open it. I've just simply picked the better ones. Ironically, her first pull is some kind of dog. Might not actually be a dog dog, but you know what I'm talking about. Creature with four, four legs. Mainetric. Okay, let's open this one up. Oh, Hazel. Oh, no. You've doubled up on a solid... That would suck. That would honestly suck if you've picked the pile that has two solid greens. Now, something I was thinking about while I was filming that other thing is... There is really, really high chance that there is a second VMAX in this booster lot. Like, a really high chance. Because you think about it. When does there ever one VMAX pull in an entire booster box? And... The pull that would solidify a win over two full arts and everything that we just got, Grimmsnow and all that, if she got a Charizard, that single card would literally win the entire video. Because the price point of a Charizard is so astronomically higher than... Like, I honestly think, I think right now, if you double the price of every card I just pulled, it still wouldn't be as much as a single Charizard would be. So I would give you a win if she went and got the Charizard pull. So let's just hope that if she ends up getting another VMAX, it's anything but 
Oh, guys. Guys, it's not looking good. Hazel might take the big fat L. Although, it probably could come down to the final pack right there. And then she gets Charizard. She'd still win it. That would be so funny. But, as I said, if this turns into a series, this can be the very first episode that we'll put on our official leaderboard. Maybe someone can make a leaderboard, tweet it to me or something, put it on the Reddit. Cling Clang. Okay. Eternatus is another good card I'd love to get as a Rainbow Rare. You know what's so funny is it's actually, like, number five on the most wanted card list. It's actually not too high at all. And being Eternatus, I always would have thought, crazy demand for it. And what's funny is this Rainbow Rare of Eternatus that's in Darkness of Blaze is the same pure gold um, Eternatus card that's going to be in Shining Fates. Look at that, another regular Flygon. I'm low-key just feeling bad for Hazel. Oh, here we go. Here's Hazel's first hit, guys. What do you reckon it's going to be? Let me know. Everyone that's literally talking and rooting for Hazel right now, you got to let me know. She's coming through with some absolute mixed spicy nuggets on her very first pull. Pansia, Morlu, then we got... None other than a Pokemon Nurturing! What the heck? That is gorgeous! Oh, that is a stunner! Ladies and gentlemen, it might actually be a very, very even pack battle. Pokemon Breeders Nurturing. Look at that Yampa, look at the colors. Wooloo down the bottom. Oh, it doesn't get too much better than that, ladies and gentlemen. Hazel might be taking the biggest W to... Look at that, it's perfectly cut as well. Oh, I don't know, because out of all the trainers, easily this is the best one. And she's got, like, two... That's two Pokemon and one card. Technically, it's a two-for-one deal. What do you guys think? All right, so Hazel's got her very first pull, and why does it have to be one of the best-looking trainers there is? I mean, if you combo that with maybe... I mean, I'll give it to her. She gets a, like, Rillaboom gold card. Probably going to take the W. Like, I would personally just give her the W without asking you guys... But if there's anything else, I'd have to give it to you guys in the comments to decide who wins. I'm gonna mock. But Pokemon Breeders Nurturing, that is a gorgeous card. What a box though! Honestly, if we get something else, like, let's take away the fact this is a pack battle. We've got three absolute incredible bangers. Like, I really do know why Darkness Ablaze is going up in price. Because these booster boxes are just hot as. Golet, then we got Heat Ran. And a sweet code. A little bit miscut, but again, that's just a holo card that leads towards the recap for her. Sweet code is an amazing choice for a holo. I honestly wish the dogs always were in the holo slots. Kind of like the most recent battle styles in Japan, they put Entei in there. Gorgeous holo choice. Always is. Okay, ironically though, the first holo card for Hazel is a dog. Literally. Alright, so we have Imbrava, Diglett, Skwovet. Then we got Pampor, Teddy Ursa, Surfetched, and then she's coming- Oh no. She's coming back with a Galarian Stunfisk V card. Maybe that's like a little uppercut. It's a distraction. It's like pow pow. But I don't see this fist coming, and she's coming in for the KO. I don't know. What do you reckon? I'm kind of nervous. Like, I'm going to lose a pack battle to my dog on the very first premiere pack battle rounds. Man, I hope this becomes a series. I've never felt more, like, energized in my life. And the fact that we could, like... If it's not the latest set, we could do like some crazy old school booster boxes to Verso with. You know, maybe I get something crazy. Darkrai and a Talonflame regular rare. I'm waiting for this Charizard, guys. The minute the Charizard just comes out of nowhere, it's KO. Game over. Even if she gets a Charizard V, I think I'd be equally like, oh no, we're done for. Put me in the oven. Put a fork in me, I'm done. All right. Pansage, Tauros. Got the telly. Okay, back to the Eternatus artwork, guys. Would be nice, I think. Eternatus Rainbow Rare would be a very, very competitive, like, card to pull right now for her. Um, again, though, I do think the gold cards would be something else to try and get. Fighting type, this is a white and green. This could be a holo, or it could be a VMAX. I haven't seen too many Vs besides that. Galarian Stunfisk. Oh! No! Speak of, speak of the Pokemon, his ears were burning. Eternatus B card. This time just the regular one. Still think it's beautiful. I do not care at all. VMAX would be really, really nice at this stage for her, but I mean, in terms of me winning the pass battle, it is looking good. Two V cards. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is where she starts firing the boosters. Maybe because she sniffed out Yampa on that trainer card. She just knew. She was like, fellow dog, I can smell really well. Must be good stuff in here. Maybe that's why she did it. We got a Mareep, then a Ducklet there as well. 
Hoxapex, and she's just adding hollows right now to the pile. Glossopod as the hollow. Man, what do we got left? Three? Four. She's got four packs after this one left. What the heck happened here? She whiz. That's how my sandwich would look when I took uh, my lunchbox to school some days. Just get absolutely pummeled. Okay, white and green. It is a white and green on the fifth to last, and it looked very dark. Ando may or may not be absolutely terrified as to what's at the back right here. This is my this is my ego on the line. Tyranitar reverse. Oh, oh no! Okay, all right there. I knew there had to be a VMAX. I literally, I knew it was coming. McSpicy Dougal. It's a Salamence VMAX. Keep in mind, I personally, I got the Salamence V full art. What do you guys think's better? Please say the Salamence V full art. Oh my gosh, that's actually a really good pull though. I gotta say, I gotta, I don't know, but this actually might be the best booster box I've opened on the whole channel. I, yeah, there had to have been another VMAX, there always is. So classic it wasn't the Charizard, thank goodness. Because, as I said, that would have been a landslide KO. We're gonna do the post-game interview with Hazel downstairs as well, see what she's thinking about those pulls, because I don't know. I mean, she probably, she's probably gonna be excited over those. Those aren't actually too bad, it is a good fair... Half and half battle right now. Skarmory and a Selagor. Three boosters remaining. What do you guys think? Let's go. It's another solid green. Heck yeah. Swing it around. We got Psyche type. Familiar Bell right there. Struggle Gloves. Got a Clang. Gothita. Skarmory. Cubchoo. Wimpod. Bunnelby trying to run away. And a Lugia as the regular rare. What a good regular rare. Darkness of Blaze is actually a great set. You know what? Looking back, it's not like Rebel Trash, it's actually fantastic. Second to last booster though, guys. Seriously, everyone get their game faces on. Put your Ash Catchem hat on backwards, because it's go time. Got Shelmet, Pampor, Teddy Ursa, Meltan, and then here we go. This is it. This is the final pack for Hazel. And then I will do the personal recap, and you let me know. Oh my gosh, of course it's a white and green. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. There you guys go. That was a super thin code, and usually the thinner the code, the heavier the card, which means the better the card. Which means more Oh, yeah, 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 I can kind of see. It's definitely got some- it's got some borders. At minimum, I reckon it's a V card of some kind. Centrip, you ready? Alright! This is a Charizard, I don't know what I'm gonna say. Snubble, and then- OH MY GOSH, ARE YOU SERIOUS?! NO WAY THAT WENT DOWN, NO WAY! OH MY GOSH, ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! You are cooking my chicken McNuggets right now! Holy smokes! What a pack battle! That was awesome! She sniffed out the gold card, guys! Okay, let me do a recap, then we'll interview Hazel. And in the comments, I need you all. You are the judge watching today's video. If you watch to the end, you officially get my license to judge the polls. And who won this pack battle? Alright guys, so if you're gonna give the victory to Team Uncle Ando right now, these are the pulls that I got. It is a very, very close one, I gotta say, because look at this, I got a lot of hollows. I think I got four of them. Corvig Knight, Pincurchin twice. Maybe you count that for something, dunno. But then we got Salamence V, Grimmsnarl V Max, the Eagle counterpart to the mascot of the set. Salamence V full art. Are you listening, little Timmy? And then Crobat V full art. I mean, seriously, that is a tie-dye, absolute gorgeous card. Crobat's a banger too. And then let's have a look at Hazel's pulls. Now, Hazel didn't get as many holo cards. Got a very miscut Suicune, a Golosopod, and that was it. Then she came out with an Eternatus, a Stunfist to, like, fake us out a little bit. Then she went and changed it up. She got the Salamence VMAX right there. Then she went and came in with a KO on the Pokemon Breeders Nurturing... Gorgeous card. Look at the artwork. Look at the cameos. I understand if that was going to take the dub, but this might just solidify the win. She got a full art secret rare golden card on her final pack as just the winning Mayweather shot. Let's go interview Hazel, see what she thinks. Guys, who won that pack battle? Alrighty, dude, we literally, we did pretty good, okay? That was a really, really close battle. Now, are you still confident that everyone in the comment section is gonna pick you as a winner? What do you think? Do you wanna say anything to the audience, the judges watching this right now? Oh, uh, all right, well, that's, okay. Uh, you can't promise everything, all right, dude? Let's just see what they say in the comments. All right, let's, good game, let me, uh, 
Here we go. Yeah, good game, good game. All right, well, well done, dude. Hopefully we can do this again. Why are you lifting that paw up now? 